Miles and Jessica never had a chance. Billy Bohannon burned them alive when he set fire to their hermitage duplex. Their mom, Tracy Perger, didn't suspect Bohannon not until four months after their death. We were sitting around one night. He was, he was drunk and he was stoned and he started talking about a fire he had set in Florida. And all the little things that didn't make sense before just kind of fell into place. And that's when I started, wow, wait a minute, <laughs> did this guy do it, you know? And I left the next day. I skipped town. I went to Chicago. But Bohannon went uncharged for a decade until he committed another somewhat similar arson. The night of his arrest, Bohannon talked to our cameras for 10 minutes. I feel like I should say hi, Mom. It's the magic paper towel. It's going to be like OJ's glove here or something. Tracy Perger could finally rest, but then the unthinkable. Bohannon became the first person ever to escape from the CJC. That was petrifying. Perger and her two surviving children were put in protective custody. They went into hiding. I had like 15 minutes to pack. And I'm like, okay, what do I grab when I don't know if I'm going to have a house when I get out? You know, when I come back, is my house still going to be standing or is someone going to have burned it down? You know, so what do I take? The first thing I grabbed was my Bible. The second thing I grabbed were pictures of the kids. Bohannon was soon recaptured and sentenced to 122 years in prison after an odd trial where it was learned Bohannon thought Perger was sleeping with his friend and that he hated her two half-black children. Racism and jealousy in the trial that featured Bohannon using odd sign language to the gallery as well as demanding a wheelchair. The day after his conviction, Perger started journaling. That journal led to this book, I Had Dreams. So all those dreams that were lost, that, you know, when, when a parent dies or a brother or sister or uncle or aunt, you lose the past. But when your children die, you lose part of your future. You lose those dreams that every parent has. Tracy Perger is a different woman today, a reborn Christian who is devoted to her surviving family. I was like, God just spoke to me and said, it's like when my son died for you. God's in there watching his son being murdered. and remembering me holding Miles and Jessica in my arms when they turned the life support off and just really identifying with, with God on a level that most people can't. Dennis Ferrier, Channel 4 News.